What is up, people? Today, I will be reviewing the 4K disc of The Dark Knight Rises, and I got that coming up for you guys next. So The Dark Knight Rises in 4K Ultra HD. I will not go into the Blu-ray just because I didn't do that with all of the other ones in the Christopher Nolan collection. And I'll go straight to the 4K Blu-ray. And um, this movie looks phenomenal in 4K. Absolutely just blows everything else in this collection, with the exception of Dunkirk, out of the water, really. So this movie was shot on uh, traditional 35 millimeter and on 65 millimeter for uh, some special IMAX scenes. So pretty much that means that this was the same thing that uh, the other two were in this Christopher Nolan collection. Uh, and um, they are just 4K scans of the uh, negative. And uh, that is something that has really worked so far for this uh, Christopher Nolan collection, and it 110% works here. You can see every single bit of detail in uh, Bane's suit, and just Bane in general, and just the ripples on the back of his head and his tattoos. Man, I, I just can't, I can't speak enough about how clear this movie is. And with the HDR that comes with this uh, 4K release, you definitely get an upgraded color palette. Because much like the other two Batman films, it is a very, uh, very blown out, very black and almost black and white film just because of the lack of color to it but at the same point in time uh, there are variations on that color scheme here with the HDR this feels like a more broad color spectrum that goes along with this movie and you know that is always a good thing in my opinion and it definitely brought me into the uh, filming of this movie a lot more than the Blu-ray did. And guys, I don't mean to go back, but I, I just can't stress enough how clear and the dimension that uh, that that is in this movie. And I, I just feel like it can't be overstated how much of a awesome transfer this is. And for that, I do have to give it a 10 out of 10 just because it doesn't deserve anything else and this was a real pleasure to watch this time around just because of how great it looked. So next we are going to be getting into The Dark Knight Rises audio and you won't want to miss it because like the other Christopher Nolan uh, releases I do have a lot to say there so I got that coming up for you next. <laughs> So the audio of The Dark Knight Rises. Now, much like every other release in this collection, no Dolby Atmos track. Come on, man! Come on! I am really getting sick and tired of saying that, but at the same point in time, I have to do it every single time for every single movie on this freaking uh, 4K Blu-ray just because of the fact that none of them come with them. None of them come with the Dolby Atmos. None of them. But like he always does, Nolan works his Nolan voodoo on me, and he gives me a DTS HD track that I, I really liked the first time I heard it, and uh, I like it now. And this is the first time that we don't have a uh, remixed audio track for this collection, just because of the fact that this is the same audio mix that we got when the original Blu-ray came out. But that's fine, because that mix was definitely, it was something really great, and at the time, it was the best sounding of the three uh, Batman films. So, it, that tide has kind of turned. I do feel like Batman Begins and The Dark Knight 
sound a little better than this just because those were just reference quality just the best DTS HD mixes I, I own but at the same point in time this does sound really great you definitely um, you know this movie is a more somber film so it has more subtle tones than the other two and um, that doesn't mean that this is something worse it's just um, it, it, a matter of fact it's really striking when uh, bass does kick in like when you get more action moments like the uh, bat pod coming out you know that was something that really came through really strong in this audio mix and the end fight came through really strong when the bombs go off in the stadium uh, towards the uh, towards the middle of the movie that was just really something that uh, really blew me away and you know surrounds are used um not so sparingly, you know, you definitely get some great surrounds here along with, you know, that uh, bass track that I really like in this movie, like I just said. And yeah, for that, I, I do have to give this a 9 out of 10. It is a really good audio track. It, it's just not as nuanced as uh those new tracks that they have for this collection. So next, I do have to get into the special features for The Dark Knight Rises, and I got that coming up for you next. So special features for The Dark Knight Rises. Like I have said for the other reviews that I've done for this collection, if you own this particular box set, just know that you are not getting any digital copies. If you got the uh, single releases for each individual movie, then you will be getting the digital copy. And it might actually be worth it for you just because of the fact that that digital copy actually comes with a Voodoo download that allows you to view this in 4K with Dolby Vision and none of these uh, 4K Blu-rays have Dolby Vision. So that might be the better way to view these movies and I can't really tell you if it is just because of the fact that I actually got the box set for this and um, yeah, so I can't view them. But going on with the actual special features for The Dark Knight Rises, I will just say that it comes with that app that I, I really kind of hate where you have to download an app on your phone and it gives you a second viewing experience while you're watching it, uh, you know, the movie on your TV doesn't do anything for me to be honest with you. This was something really cool that I think that they did here where they pretty much have Christopher Nolan and all of the other directors that actually directed a Batman movie and um, they pretty much sit them down and they talk about the evolution of the Batmobile and uh, that's that's something that I didn't expect but it was really cool and they actually have a lengthy discussion about it because of the fact that it's almost an hour long. And then we have Ending the Night, which has a bunch of different featurettes within it where they talk about this version of the Batmobile and the fight against Bane and, um, uh, oh, that great scene where uh, Bane blows up the stadium and really uh, where they wanted to take these characters and explaining it just a little more and explaining the ending a little bit more than uh, what it is in the movie and... Um, Really, this is a really a real hefty amount of special features here, uh, more than the other discs, and I feel like it, it, it's a little bit better quality. Specifically, because I like the fact that they incorporated that uh, hour-long uh, featurette about the Batmobile, because that was something that uh, was really cool, and I didn't expect it. And for that, I do have to give this a uh, 7 out of 10. I would have gave it an 8, but none of these are actually on the 4K disc, and that is something that I, uh, I kind of want to see from these studios, but I don't know if they will ever do. So, hey, what are you going to do? This was still a hefty amount of special features here, though. So next, I'm going to be getting into my last looks and my overall score for The Dark Knight Rises in 4K, and I got that coming up for you next.
The Dark Knight Rises was a movie that I feel like I couldn't have reviewed for you when it actually came out in theaters. I had a uh, whole list of things to say about the movie, positive and negative, and I really didn't know where I felt on it. And after uh, some time and some reflection, I can say that I, I liked the movie. I didn't love it, but I did like it, and... Um, you know, you definitely have its positives with Anne Hathaway's Catwoman and uh, just the daringness to, to take this movie where they took it. And um, even though I don't agree with every choice, I do respect the chances that they took with it. This is not a movie that played it safe. And if you didn't watch my video review for uh, The Dark Knight Rises, I did give it a 7 out of 10. Which would bring my overall score for uh, The Dark Knight Rises in 4K to a 33 out of 40. That is not that bad. And uh, yeah, you know what? Much like all of the other uh, releases in this Christopher Nolan collection, it's worth having just because it's something that is of quality. So next, I do have to get into The Silence of the Lambs. Criterion collection for you guys and uh, you know that is something that I've been really looking forward to and I will definitely get into for you guys and if you are excited about it comment below let me know about other Criterion releases that are coming up that you want me to review and subscribe so you know when those videos come out and as always guys thank you for watching my videos you guys are awesome and I will see you guys next time